Hey everybody, welcome to Revelation Quilts. This is Suze. Today's tutorial is for this awesome and super easy beginner-friendly hourglass block. And there's a couple different ways you can set it uh, for the layout. And it's super easy and it's a great way to use up your scraps. So we're going to go through it and I'm going to teach you how to do it. And there's so many ways we can go from here. So let's get started. Everybody. so let's get started on this this is the block we're gonna make this is called the hourglass block it's one of the basic blocks of quilting and but it makes a stunning quilt even though it's super basic super easy to make and today I am going to make a quilt with these hourglass blocks all done in various scraps so the only key to this to make it stunning is that you need one light and one dark so that you have a good contrast and so i'm going to use five inch squares but you can use 10 inch squares you can use any size squares and just a simple rule of thumb is that whatever size squares that you decide to use um, the final project is going to go down by an inch so if i'm using five inch squares my final hourglass block will be four inches after I trim it up. So just keep that in mind. So if you start with a 10 inch square, your finished square will be nine inches. And then once you sew it into the actual quilt, that's gonna bring it down a little more. So just keep that in mind. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is Put your two squares right side together. I like to put the, um, the lightest color square right on top and you are going to draw a line from corner to corner. And basically you are just gonna be making a half square triangle. So I'm gonna draw a pencil line there. Oops, you can't see it very well. Let me draw that again. It doesn't have to be dark, just so you can see it. And then I am going to sew a quarter inch on either side of that line and I will be right back. So I've sewn a quarter inch on either side. You can't really see it, but if I flip it over, you can see where my sewing lines are. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that right down the middle where I drew the line. So let's get that cut. And then what I end up with is two half square triangles. So I am just gonna sew those. I'm gonna put them on my my sewing and I'm gonna, uh, my, I'm sorry, my ironing board and I'm going to put it the dark side facing up. I'm gonna iron that to set the seam and then I'm just gonna roll that back so that I have two half square triangles and I'm gonna press the seam to the dark side. That's why I start with the dark side on top when I press. And so I have two half square triangles now. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put those right on top of each other so that it goes the opposite way and my seams will nest. So when I put them together my little, I call them little butterfly wings, these little dog ears that are on the end are gonna crisscross. And then I'm just gonna go through the exact same procedure where I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just gonna draw a line right down the middle of that so that you can see it. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna sew a quarter inch on either side of that line. I'll be right back. So now I've sewn on either side of that line and then I'm going to cut again right on that line that I've drawn. And then what I, oh, I missed my little cut there. There we go. And then when I open that up, I end up with the cutest little hourglass block. So I'm going to iron that open. And 
like so. So now I have two cute little hourglass blocks and I'm gonna square these up and that'll get rid of these dog ears that are on the corners. So I'm just gonna take my ruler. I know that I want them to be four inches. And so I'm gonna take my ruler and my two inch line is gonna go right down the center. It's gonna meet uh, where my two inch line here and my two inch line here, it's gonna crisscross the center. And then my 45 degree line on my ruler is gonna go right up that seam. And so then when I cut this, on the top and the side, there I've got my, and I can just flip it over and do the same thing. My two inches lines crisscross in the middle and my 45 degree diagonal line goes right up that seam. And then I can cut off those edges. And there I have a perfect hourglass block. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Square that up, my two inch crisscross and my diagonal line. And turn it around. Might be time to put a new blade in. Maybe not. So two adorable little hourglass blocks. So I'm just gonna do that to a bunch of my five inch squares. And then when I put them together, I'm going to alternate the lights and the darks. And I'm going to mix it up like so. And it's gonna create this really cute little secondary pattern. So I'm going to do that to a bunch of my five inch squares until I have a big of a quilt as I want to have. So I was kind of playing with different ways to put these together and so this way shows all of the darks that are together and all the lights that are together in the hourglass. And the other way, this way, I alternated and so I asked I took a little poll from my friends and family and asked them which one they like better and overwhelmingly they all voted for this way. So this is how I decided to do it. So here we have the finished product. I had extra fabric that I just made borders from and the final quilt top ended up being 53 by 43. But the thing about this one is, is that you can make this as big or little as you want. You can use 10 inch squares to start off with and make a big old queen or king size quilt, or you can make a baby quilt. It just depends on how many blocks you wanna use. And so I just wanted to make a lap quilt, and so that's what I did. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Super beginner friendly, super easy, and it's so fast. It just sews up so fast. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please share it, like it, and subscribe it. And I will be back with the next tutorial, which will be featuring this hourglass block and what you can do with them. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.